Okay guys, so for this tutorial, I'm gonna be mainly using um, my Makeup Geek eyeshadows and I just put them in a Z palette. And just a disclaimer, this um, is a lot of blending. So you're gonna wanna get your patients ready, do some yoga first, take a nap, drink some water, get some popcorn, I don't know, settle in. We're gonna be here for a minute. So to start off, I'm gonna be taking my Makeup Geek Soft Dome Blending Brush. Also, please excuse my nails. Um, this one is half ripped off um, because I didn't let my nails breathe for my acrylics. So that is your punishment if you don't let your nails breathe a little. Okay, ladies? So now that I gotta breathe before I get my new claws, it's okay. We're gonna live with it. We're gonna roll. Wow, my cat is being so cute. George! Wow. What a freaking cutie. The first shade we're gonna be going into is Makeup Geek's Creme Brulee, and this is just gonna be our transition color. Taking Creme Brulee, and I'm just going to put this right above my crease, blending that up towards the brow bone. Now don't be afraid to get this on your brow bone because you can always add a highlight on. So if you ever end up blending a little too far, it's okay. Okay, now I'm gonna be taking my Sigma Blending E25 brush. And I'm also going to be going in with Cocoa Bear from Makeup Geek. This is one of my favorite shades. It's like a really warm, um, like a brick tone. It's really pretty. I'm gonna be taking the tip of that brush, and I like this brush because it really gets into the crease. And we're going to be running that right above our crease. And this is the step that's probably gonna take you the longest because to build up the opacity that I really want, I have to sit here for a while and build it up. So we're just gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna fast forward real quick. And then if you feel like you're getting kind of a harsh line right around here, we're gonna go back in with that creme brulee and just lighten it up. Blend it out. Fleece it out. You know what I just quoted? Leave it down below because I'll love you forever. Okay, now that I'm pretty happy with how dark that is, we are gonna add some more darkness after we add that line. But, um, But I'm gonna go in with our shimmery shade. I'm gonna be going in with my Sigma Eye Shading E55 brush. This is just like a flat brush, just helps you pack on shadow really well. And I'm gonna wet the brush using my Smashbox Primer Water. I'm gonna do like two, three spritz. Hey Joe. What is it, bubs? And dip that in to Grandstand. Is that what it's called? I forget. And I'm going to rub this. Now rubbing it will make more of a foiled effect than packing it. I'm gonna rub it all over my lid. I just love this shade. It looks like really dark in the pot, but it's actually not that dark. Now the fun begins. I don't know what that accent was. Okay, find the lightest concealer you own, and we're gonna use this. It's essential because we want contrast in this because the bronziness, it can get lost easily. Like even like right here, you can't tell unless I like, you know, close my eyes, draw you in. Use a darker concealer. Um, it ain't gonna work as well. All right, I'm gonna be using my NYX HD Studio, Studio Photogenic Concealer and this is in CW06 Glow. Now this part, I really gotta concentrate, so I might not be talking that much. I'm gonna be going in with my Sigma Eyeliner E05 brush, and I'm pretty much going to be just drawing the line right above our crease and flicking it out. So I'm gonna take the little wand and just pick some product up and get cracking. Don't be afraid to use a lot conceal a lot of concealer either. I'm using just like a white eyeshadow and going over this. I just wiped some concealer off of the brush. 
I'm just tracing it. You might need to go back in after the powder and clean it up more. That's okay, that won't ruin anything. Now to contrast it even more, to make it pop even more, we wanna add some dark around the line so that that line really pops. I'm gonna be using Makeup Geeks Mocha and I'm going to just be using an angled brush. Um, this is just a random one I got in a crown brush set. I'm gonna be lining right above that line. Okay. And if you get some in your line, don't worry. You can go back and clean it up. I'm gonna go back in with my E25 and some of that Cocoa Bear and just run that over what we just did. We're gonna go underneath the line and do the same thing. You can pull your eye a little taut if it makes it easier for you. I'm gonna go back in with a little bit of grandstand and just make that cohesive. And I am gonna go over the line one more time with concealer and powder just because I feel like it got a little lost while we were blending. See what a different that, that difference that makes by going back over it? I'm gonna take a little bit of that white and just right here Okay, now that I'm pretty happy with that, um, we're gonna move on to the lower lash line. I'm gonna be taking a flat liner brush. This is like a Costco Kirkland one, I don't know. I'm gonna be dipping into my handy dandy BH Cosmetics 120 color palette, and this is the second edition. So we're gonna use a second sheet, so I'm gonna take this little guy off, and I'm going to be going into this like, these two at the top, this like royal purple blue and then this more toned down blue. But before I even do that, I'm gonna be taking my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk and this is just like a white one and running that in my waterline as well as like below it. And this can look messy, it's fine, trust me. And then taking that liner brush and mixing those two blues, running that where we put the white even in the waterline. Get it in there. Hey! Are you kidding? What? I'm gonna go in with um, the shade Creme Brulee again and my Makeup Geek blending brush and just running this underneath the blue just to diffuse it and blend it a little bit so it's not such a harsh line. Now that I feel that the eyeshadow is done, I'm gonna go in with mascara and I'm using my Essence Lash Princess Volume Mascara. For lashes, I'm gonna be using the Kiss Lash Couture in, you know what? I've tried to say this name on camera before. I still don't know it. We're gonna learn today. Brazier. Brazier. All right, I never would've guessed that. Brazier. I'm gonna be using these. These are one of my favorites. They last me. I'm not kidding. I had reworn my last pair, and I know this is not healthy or hygienic. I did wash them though, so like, don't come at me. Um, like 30 times. For my lip color, I'm just going to be taking my NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in London. All right guys, and that is the finished look. If you guys liked it, please give this video a thumbs up so I know that you wanna see more stuff like it. And if you wanna make sure you're staying on top of my videos, make sure you hit that notification bell so you get notified every single time I post because we know how YouTube is tripping right now and some people aren't seeing some videos in their subscription feeds. But yeah, I hope you guys liked it and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye loves.